the day of Tiff versus Vicky arrived. We headed for the fastest circuit in Britain, Rockingham. I've known you for a long time, and I can sense that you are quite apprehensive about this. I know you've been watching the weather as well a lot. I have. <laughs> I've been looking at the five-day forecast the last five. <laughs> don't so, rain, don't rain, don't rain. I have. I've been a right tiddly about it all. Why are you nervous, though? Well, because I'm to be honoured with driving such a machine. It's, you know, nobody gets these chances. No, so. I know. It so I don't really want to. Don't want to put it in the gravel, and I don't want to look slow, and I want to do a good job. And, I know. But I want to enjoy it. The too. chance of driving that car. Oh. Is just... Time to don my Williams uniform, which served as another little reminder of the potential dangers. Regulations dictate that even the sponsors' logos and stitching need to be flame-proof, while the shoulder straps have to be strong enough to support your weight you need to be hauled out of the cockpit. Now, as usual in this day and age, there are all sorts of indemnities to be signed before you can have any fun at all. Naturally, I've signed them without reading anything, so I thought I'd better check a few things out. It says here, I'm fully aware of and appreciate and accept the risks inherent in Formula One driving. I'm also fully aware that the technology utilised in the manufacture and fitting of race tyres is at a leading edge of state-of-the-art scientific knowledge. And it's continued to be changed. For this reason, I have taken out... Yeah, I definitely have all the necessary insurances and sought other protections. Yeah, done that. My mind was temporarily diverted from such matters by another aspect of the F1 driver's life, the stardom. This may only have been a test, but a crowd seems to swarm around anything to do with Formula One. And it's hard not to feel a little bit guilty as the team slave away making final preparations for the car's run. Now, we're used to seeing F1 cars race against each other, but nobody's ever seen an F1 car race a road car. To really put the performance of Tiff and the Williams into context, we chose another car with a V10 engine, a seven-speed gearbox, and a top speed in excess of 200. I'd be racing Tiff in an M5. As I climbed aboard, I caught sight of the discreet tribute that every Williams has worn since the great Ayrton Senna died in one of the cars. Another last-minute reminder that this was not an experience to be trifled with. find out how fast it really is, I'll be up against Vicky in a 200 mile an hour BMW M5. I'm in total heaven, this is just unreal. Here comes little Vicky. Okay, 70 miles an hour, I'm in third gear, pulling about five and a half thousand RPM. I have a Formula One car alongside me. My heart is beating. And goodness knows what Tiff's doing in there. I bet he's having the time of his life. Oh. This is sensational doing no speed at all. Flags up. It's dropped, we're off! so quickly. The steering's the best thing. It feels fantastic. Ah! <laughs> Acceleration is violent. Vision gets blurred. Blink, tip, blink. Now we know the M5 is fast, and boy, was I trying hard. I am driving my little heart out. But incredibly, Tiff was going 30 seconds a lap quicker. Bit of overstep, the back wants to step out. 
as he's feeding 800 horsepower. I already need the neck brace to rest my neck on, my muscles have gone. Boo, 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 boo! Tiff was keeping up an average lap speed of 102 miles an hour, while I was giving it everything but could only average 74. So onto the brakes, big fat brakes, which almost, at this stage now, the pedal is almost going to the floor. Turn in, feed the power in, back end slid a little bit, try and control it, because I love going sideways, don't get me wrong, but when you're in a race with a Formula One car, Sideways is not really the way it should go. <laughs> I wonder where Tiff has got to. <laughs> oh, here he comes! There she is! She's in my sights! The little minx! Oh, ho, ho. And she's smoking tyres! Giving it everything! Hello, Vicky! I'm here! Woohoo! She's on the grass, she's on the loose. Can you believe it? Well, that's, that's what happens when you see a Formula One car in your rear view mirror. I fell off the road onto the grass. I bet Tiff will be loving it. She's doing a fantastic effort, but she's beaten. Oh, she's so beaten. Oh my goodness, the noise is just so awesome. <laughs> I can swell her brakes, I can swell everything. And she's there! <laughs> oh, fantastic! The most awesome, piercing, pure sound. Oh, terrific! Absolutely terrific! That is something I will never forget. Oh, wicked. Neck muscles have gone, brain's gone. This is unbelievable. Oh, I'm going to treasure this view forever. As you can probably tell, I can't speak a lot at the moment because I'm trying to get my brain back inside my body. <laughs> that was sensational. Oh, it's a stunning experience. That car drives itself, and provided it's been pre programmed with details of the location, can take itself off for a very high speed spin.